Hey guys, it's Cece, and today I'm coming to you with a quick sort of different video because I want to talk about some cool stuff that I got at MochaFest. MochaFest is this wonderful event that happens every year in New York City. This was my third year going, and it is just about finding art and finding comics for more independent artists. And it's just wonderful. Every year I find so many incredible prints. A lot of the stuff that I have on my walls is stuff that I found at MochaFest and it wound up being an excellent third year. So I thought it would be interesting since I'm probably going to be putting up most of this stuff behind me, though I don't know how much you'll see. I wanted to do a haul of all of the stuff that I got at MochaFest as well as all the stuff that Janelle got at MochaFest because, you know, we live in the same room, so it's all going up in here. So yeah, I just want to show off a lot of the art and the zines and stuff that I got at MochaFest and just talk about a lot of the artists. I will leave the link to every artist website down below in the description I went through and whoever I forgot to get a business card for, I found them on the MochaFest website. So I will leave the links to all of their websites down below so you can go and check them out and see some of their other stuff because we got some really great stuff. So yeah, let's just get started. I promise I will show you a like better clip of each of the individual things while I'm talking about them instead of just holding them up. So yeah, let's talk about all this stuff that me and Janelle got at MochaFest. So the first thing that I wanted to talk about were some of the zines that Janelle and I picked up. And the first one I wanted to show you is one called Witches Who Sing. This one was done by Molly Osterag, and I believe that she is one of the people who is now working on Lumberjanes because Lumberjanes got a like whole new creative team. So she is one of the people who's working on it now. But this is just a super cute little zine. And inside each page is a female artist as a witch, some of their spell components, which are lyrics, and some of their spells which are some of their songs and it's just got really cute art it's really fun and this is one that Janelle picked up because she loves witches you're gonna notice a theme she got a lot of witch themed stuff it's really cute the next scene is one I picked up this was actually the first thing I bought at Mocha Fest and that is meet cute number one by Kristen Rosa and basically, I believe this is a series of zines or online comics that are about queer couples, but it is a meet, meet cute, which is the, like, cute scenario in which you meet someone in, like, a rom-com. And I've already read this. It's adorable. I think it's really sweet. And the art's really simple, but it's a really fun one. The next one is one that I also bought for myself, and that is Transit Fashion, and this one is by Eileen McLean. And basically, this is art of all of the people that Eileen has seen on the New York City subway, and she just wanted to draw their outfits and their style. There's also a lot of fun quotes in here from different designers, and it's just about expressing yourself through style. I've always wanted a book like this. Whenever I see people on the subway, I'm always like, oh, I wish I could draw, because that would make such an interesting thing to draw and so I was so excited to see this because it's something that I'm really interested in and all the art in here is really really fun. The next one I got was actually a free zine. It was just handed to me at one of the tables. You get a lot of stuff like that. A lot of free postcards and business cards and little prints and stuff that have the artist information on the back so you can go and look them up and buy stuff from them later. So one of the ones that I was handed was this. This is The Wayward Queen, which is a weekly webcomic, and it's just an introduction to that webcomic, which is done by Guinevere Singley. And I haven't looked through this quite yet, but it is just a quick little zine so that I might be interested to go and check out the webcomic. I think that the art looks really cool, so I'm definitely excited to look through this one. And the final zine that I have here is Women Through the Ages, A Hundred Years of Fashion Illustration. This one is by Trisha Casey, and it is one that Janelle picked up through my urging, because I think that the those videos that people do, the hundred years of, like, fashion or hair, I'm obsessed with them. So this has just some really cute art. There is a girl for each decade leading up to 2016. They're fun and cute, and I'm definitely glad that I have this one to look through. The next thing I wanted to show off is just another free postcard that I was handed whilst walking through MochaFest, and that is... This one is just a really cute print, and it was done by Ellie Yang, and I think it'll just be really cute. It's fun that you can get, like, free stuff like this and still just go home and check out the artist, because this was free, and it's still a really fun print that I can't wait to hang up on my wall. The next one I have here is another thing that Janelle got, and it is this Sailor Moon print. It was done by Trungles. This was handed out for free at the same time place. Apparently Trungles is a fairly famous artist, but we didn't know who he was, but Janelle is absolutely obsessed with Sailor Moon, so she picked this one up, and I think it is really cool, even though I don't watch Sailor Moon or read C Sailor Moon, I still really appreciate the art, and I think it's really cool. The next one is a print that Janelle picked up, and it is this 
red panda art. It took me forever to find the person who did this because we didn't pick up a business card. But it was done by Holly Mongi, and she just had really, really cute prints of these different animals. I think she has like an ABCs of Animals series, and Janelle is obsessed with red pandas. They're my favorite animal, and I'm pretty sure they're pretty high up on her list of favorite animals. But it's, it's just got a little pumpkin, and it even looks like a fire ferret from Legend of Korra, which makes it even more cool. But this is just a completely adorable print. Next up, I wanted to show off two prints that were both done by... Casey Kuo. This is the print that I picked up for free there, but uh, Janelle got one thing and I got one thing. So the print that I got is just this small one. It is just this girl just in a stylized dress. I think it's adorable. I really like the quality of it. I love the dress. I love the girl and overall I think it's just super cute. And the print that Janelle picked up from Casey Kuo was this witch print. Do you remember how I said witches? Don't worry, there's still more to come. But this print is completely adorable. There were a lot of witches this year at Mocha Fest, which is really fun. I think that this witch is so happy and cute, and I love the art style to death. I love her socks, I love her hat, I love her expression. Adorable. The next thing I wanted to show off was a collection that Janelle got from Natalie Andrewson, and it is basically this series of Harry Potter prints, and there is one for each of the books in the series. I actually saw her art on the Mocha Fest Tumblr before we went and saw her, so it was so exciting to see these. They're all so cute. I think that we decided that the Prisoner of Azkaban one is our favorite. I think that Prisoner of Azkaban just provides so many excellent references for art, so I I always love art that's based on Prisoner of Azkaban, but each of these has a quote from Dumbledore on top of them. They're fun, they're interesting, and I absolutely adore them. The next one I want to show off is a huge print, so hopefully I can get it all in frame, but you know I'm going to cut away to a clip anyway. And it is by Betsy Peterschmidt, and I saw it and I knew I had to have it. Basically, it is this big, beautiful print of a girl sitting on top of a dragon, and she is painting a stack of books. I adore dragons. Clearly, I adore books, and I knew I had to have this as soon as I saw it. I think the style is beautiful. I can't stop looking at it, and I know it's going to hang on my wall for many years to come because I think it's a beautiful piece of art. Next up, I have a bunch of stuff from an artist who is called Sticks and Spells. This is just her business card, which, I mean... When even your business card is this adorable, it makes me happy. In case you can't tell from the title, she does a lot of witch art. So this is all Janelle's stuff that she picked up, and I think it's super cute, like all of it. First, there is this postcard that also says sticks and spells on it, and it is a adorable little witch reading. It's so cute. It's so stylized. I love her style. I was looking at her website, and everything she has is so cute. She also got this little sticker, which looks like Spook's Ale. It's kind of like a potion label which is kind of cute. I think it's, what is it, Ghost's Brew, but I think that this is really cute. We also got this collection of cat stickers. I will cut away so you can see each of these individually, but it's a bunch of little cats, plus you have a little fish and a couple of, like, word bubbles so you can have them say stuff, but I love them. And the final thing that she got from Sticks and Spells, yes, we, we spent a lot of time at the Sticks and Spells booth, was this other witch print. This is another little girl who is a witch, but she is looking for some different stuff for potions, I'm assuming, plus keeping an eye on her herb garden so she still has all the ingredients necessary to make an excellent potion. And I wanted to save this biggest print for last. It is the thing that I was kind of building up to buying the whole time I was at Mocha Fest. I kept being like, don't buy that. You have to have exactly enough money left over to go and buy that print from Noelle Stevenson. So Noelle Stevenson has been at Mocha every year that I've been there, but this year I went and now I've actually read Nimona. So it was a very exciting change because last year when I went, I hadn't read Nimona yet. I'd read Lumberjanes, but I haven't read Nimona yet. So I picked up this incredible Nimona print. I think it's so beautiful and definitely worth saving up to buy. She had a lot of other Nimona prints there that were really adorable also, but this was definitely my favorite. I think it captures Nimona beautifully. I love the strength. I love the art style in general because I love Noelle Stevenson's style. And Noelle Stevenson was at the booth, so she signed it for me, which was so exciting. Before I got there, she was taking photos with these two little girls because they wanted a picture with Noelle Stevenson. It was so cute. Also, before we got to Mocha Fest, I saw Noelle Stevenson walking towards me outside the building, and I was like, I think we're close to Mocha Fest. But I kept my cool, and I didn't go up and talk to her because, you know what? Maybe she's gonna go out to lunch right now, and I don't need to bother her. But anyway, this was so exciting to get. I can't wait to hang it up. Nimona was an incredible graphic novel, and I'm so glad to have a print to go along with it. Alright, this wound up being slightly longer than expected, 
because I got excited talking about art. But I hope that you all enjoyed. I hope that you go check out a lot of these artists' websites because there is so much cool stuff present at Mocha Fest. And I will also leave the link to the Mocha Fest website so you can go and read about some of the art other artists that were there. If you live near New York next year, definitely go and check it out. It is a huge, wonderful event that I've always had a lot of fun at. Okay, guys, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in another video very soon. Bye!